Well, hey there, all you cool hats and mittens. Ha <laughs> ha. No copyright there, eh? Nobody's going to get me for that one. Go ahead, Carol Baskin. All right, guys. We're going to make a beautiful dragonfly. I just want to put a smile on your face and paint something beautiful with you. So I am starting off with a handmade art stone made from the molds from the Happy Dotting Company on Etsy. I will leave a link in the description for where you can get yours. Um, she has been very low on stock, so if you've had any issues ordering from her recently, uh, it's been a little bit difficult right now. So please be patient. Her stuff is worth the wait. Um, I'm using a ruler. You've seen me do the dial part where I did uh, the... I used a compass and I made two circles. Um, luckily, these stone molds come with like a, a center dot so that you can um, work with that center dot and make excellent circles. So what I'm doing is I used a ruler that just happens to be broken um, and I did a straight line in the middle over the center dot and then um, I did four lines coming out just to kind of figure out where I want my wings to be. Now I know there is uh, the ability to slow the video down because I do speed mine up a lot so that they're not um, hours long uh, once I've edited them all together. Now here's a little secret. I found these online Amazon. They are eyeliner brushes, disposable uh, eyeliner brushes, and they are amazing for fine lining. Um, the only thing I have an issue with is that they're short. I need it to be a little bit longer, but they work. So if you're having issues finding a fine lining brush, split it in half though. Take half the hairs off and then you have your fine lining brush. So if you've seen my fine lining brush tutorial, do the same thing to these brushes and you have, look at that, you have a mighty fine line. So I'm going to leave the link in the description of where I ordered these on Amazon. I'm in Canada, so I use Canadian Amazon. Um, you might have to look uh, elsewhere for them, but definitely Google um, disposable eyeliner brushes um, because they are handy. I think I, it came with like a couple hundred super cheap and I've I've used mine a few times you have to watch that some of the hairs do come out um, so be careful with that when you're painting but other than that I've I've used it for a couple days now and it's doing just fine so um, yeah if you're having a hard time with the fine lines also with fine lining make sure your paint consistency is uh, a nice consistency it's able to move fluidly um, and not clumpy and and grumpy that's what I call it clumpy and grumpy <laughs> so I always outline everything in gold I am going to be cleaning it up and and making the gold lines a little bit finer right now instead of taking a pencil to it all like I did with the dragonfly just to kind of show you guys um, an easier way to get your dragonfly sketched on. That's why I used a pencil for that. But other than that, I'm just going to go right in with the gold and I'm doing a couple of um, flowers. You can only see parts of the flowers um, and you can see one whole flower, but you can only see part of the other ones. I am going to outline my uh, frame, which is the same thing I do in all of my other ones. You've seen it before, guys. I'm sorry if I'm boring you with it. Um, it's just my favorite thing. When I have a really round stone, I like to frame my painting in with a dial, with a nice little colorful frame and with gold, of course. So um, someone asked recently, why do you always outline with gold? And the only reasonable answer that I have is from the bottom of my heart. And it's, I love gold. <laughs> Dang it. It's my favorite. It's my favorite flavor. <laughs> 
So now I am cleaning it up. I'm going right in there, getting rid of all my pencil lines. I'm thinning out. I'm using a different brush right now to just kind of get the 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 uh, wings black right away. I'm doing it quickly. So, um, but I am going to get my fine lining brush back out to get the little areas, the little nooks and crannies. And this is the cleanup part. It does take a while. Um, but it's just to get everything ready for color. That's why I do this. So if you've been in my channel for a while, thank you. If you're new, welcome and thank you. Um, to all of you, I love you all. And I just want to kind of um, shine a light, uh, give you something fun to watch on YouTube for 25 minutes and uh, entertain you. So... Yeah, you've seen my dragonflies before. This isn't really going to be that different from any other dragonfly stone you've seen me do. Um, very simple. I, I just love dragonflies. Um, they're pretty, and I love glitter and gold and sparkles. And So we're going to do all of that and add color and resin. Oh, it's going to be wonderful. I promise you. So I really, I was told by a few people that, you know, what can I do to help this world right now? What can I do to help you guys to even help my myself, to be honest, um, paint, laugh with you guys, giggle, entertain. <laughs> I've been getting out my guitar more. Um, painting my nails more. I don't have time to paint as much as what I used to. So um, this moment here with you is very, very special to me. So I'm just going to entertain you for 25 minutes and 16 seconds. <laughs> and uh, we'll go from there. Even if you don't like this dragonfly at all, or the color choices that I've made. <laughs> Don't judge me for my color choices. So one good thing about these is while you put it in the water, you can put your little plastic cap back on them. They all come with a little plastic cap and you can put it in your paint glass and it won't bend or ruin your bristles. It'll still be nice and straight. So that's what I do when I walk away for a little bit and I'm leaving my little fine liner brush in the water for a bit. I just put the little cap on so it doesn't get all bent. And then it's ready to go. Look at all of these little tips and tricks I'm showing you. So right now I'm using Dragonfly Glaze. It is like a holographic rainbow color effect. Uh, and it's Dragonfly Glaze from Folk Art, number 44380. And the trick to this stuff is not to do a thick coat really spread it across like don't leave any thick globs anywhere because if you do it's really noticeable um, once you seal it um, but it basically just you know a little goes a long way just try to spread it out as much as you can um, if you're doing a big area, you can use a sponge and that will give you a nice even layer of the glitter. But if you're doing what I'm doing, which is probably the difficult route where I painted all my stuff on there first and then decided I wanted my background glittery, um, you could definitely do it glittery first and then, and then start with the dragonfly step. You know what I mean? Like do it in the opposite way that I've done it. It might be easier for you. Um, but if you are doing small areas with the glitter and probably with a lot of different kinds of glitter paint, um, just spread it thin. And if you need to do a second coat, once it's dry, you'll be able to see where it's there's not enough glitter. You know what I mean? So yeah, with this stuff, I'm just really careful because or else it gets foggy and uh, uneven looking in areas and it's not attractive. Uh, the best thing to do is do a very, very thin coat. Like this coat is so thin that it's almost dry already and I'm not even done. So um, you can tell it's it's like almost dry. But that's because I'm being very sparse. Is that the word? I'm sparse with it. <laughs> Um, so yeah, let's, let's do this. I know lots of glitter. There's going to be even more glitter and sparkle than you, your eyes can probably handle right now, but Hey, it's like a 
a Rachel's Rocks mini vacation. <laughs> so I've chosen a teal for my outer ring. I'm going to do probably two coats of that so that you can't see through it at all. Uh, folk art teal is pretty good with its uh, consistency and it uh, it covers well. So um, you can choose whatever colors you want for all of this. You do not in any way have to choose the same colors that I'm using. Um, but uh, I just like, I like these colors. So you probably see them often on a lot of my stones. So uh, if you've been to my shop recently, thank you. Thank you for visiting. Um, if you've purchased, thank you. You and my family and I, thank you. Um, and if you have donated to me through PayPal, I just really, like, I mean, my phone crapped out on me as well as my laptop had a giant spidering crack through the screen and my son was trying to use it for his grade 10 education at home. And so, yeah, I've had some bad luck with uh, technology over the last little while. And I actually wanted this tutorial to be up yesterday. Um, but because I <laughs> have new devices, I don't even know how to use them because everything's different. And so, yes, I've had to retrain myself on new devices, how to edit and record and all the fun stuff that I do behind the scenes of bringing this video out to you. So yeah, I'm sorry that you guys have been waiting for so long. Um, life has been unpredictable. Let's just say that. <laughs> but we're all going to be okay. I'm okay. I'm painting for you now. We're all here together and um, I'm still smiling and I hope you are too. I love you all and I just want you who has um, helped me through PayPal. Um, it's taking me a while to find out that you've helped me or to respond to you. I do like to send a message back thanking you personally. Um, so I just want those those of you who have donated to me and my um, creative channel, um, you're you're helping me to keep going. You're helping my family, even if it is just to put some food on the table once in a while. Um, you really don't know what people are going through. So I just want to thank you, even though. I don't know what you're going through. You still came to help me. So um, I can't possibly find the right words to tell you how much it means to me that so many of you support me the way you do just by watching my videos or sending me a like or, or sharing my videos across Facebook or here on YouTube. It really does mean so much to me and I don't ever have the chance to tell everyone uh, how much I appreciate it. I'm still not able to get through messages. Um, there's so many of you that have sent messages and, and I see them sitting there waiting to be read. And I just feel so bad that I haven't had the time. So I want you to know that on those rainy days where things aren't so great, I open those messages up and I'm reading them. And hopefully I will be able to respond to you very soon. But um, I just wanted to personally thank all of you while I'm outlining with my favorite flavor of paint. Um, no, do not eat the paint and it does not taste good. It's just, it's my favorite. <laughs> um, so yeah, I just want to tell you guys that you mean the world to me. You keep me going. You're my light on dark, rainy days. So um there's just no way for me to express how much that means to me. You have no idea, no idea. So thank you. And I, I will keep pushing these out as often as I can. Um, I did lose some uh, tutorials recently when everything fell apart on me, all my technology. Um, so I'm going to be redoing some things and hopefully getting them up very soon. I'm sorry it's so blurry. It's going to clear up in a moment for you. Uh, let me just clean my glasses here. We're all wearing my glasses and they're going to be 
cleaned in a moment. It'll 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 be less fuzzy. <laughs> Um, so all I did was clean everything up, made sure everything was outlined in gold properly, just in case I made it too thin. Um, and now I'm choosing colors for my flowers. So I am starting off with a saffron yellow. Um, there we go. Cleaned my glasses. <laughs> Not so bad. Um, yeah, saffron yellow. And I'm just doing it around the center, making it kind of in, in all three areas where the flowers are. I'm just kind of pretending that I know where the center is on those other two um, and adding a little bit. Now I'm going with pumpkin orange. You know I'm going to list all the paint colors in the description, right? I promise. Um, yeah, that looks nice. Saffron yellow pumpkin orange and then I'm going to add some magenta so it might not be what you like for color choices the best part about this is you can do once you've outlined everything the way you want it you can even do whatever flower shape you want you could do daisies you could do um forget-me-nots you could do um I don't even know like like mm, I can't even think of another flower how about like peonies. I don't know how to draw peonies, so <laughs> it could be anything. You decide. You make up your own flower. Because <laughs> um, I did. These are made up flowers. So you do whatever you want. And then you decide what color you want. So I decided that I'm going to go with yellow, orange, and dark pink. You could do blue and purple. You could do white and yellow. You could do a purple ring instead of a teal ring. Uh, you don't even have to do a glittery background. You can just do glittery wings, which I'm still going to do. I'm just going to use a different size glitter and a different color of glitter uh, because I can't get enough glitter. <laughs> I know there's people out there that feel me right now. I know it. I know there's people out there that love it just as much as me. So I don't dot this fast in real life. Um, possibly if I were to drink more coffee, I could. But no, this is sped up a lot, just so you know. <laughs> I'm going super fast so that you can see it all. Don't worry about your dot sizes. Don't worry about everything being perfect. Um, it all looks fantastic. I promise you'll see it at the end that when someone looks at this, they're not going to be like, um, why are your yellow dots bigger than your pink dots? Why is one wing bigger than the other wing? Like you, nobody's going to say that. They're just going to think it's gorgeous when you're done. So, um, don't worry. Don't stress. Nothing's perfect. Nothing is perfect. And it's still beautiful. So if you clicked on the thumbnail because you saw it and you thought, hey, that's kind of nice. Well, there you go. Nothing's even perfect on this and it's still kind of nice. <laughs> it's my favorite part about this stuff. Artwork is, is all... I think a lot of people think right away, oh, I'm not an artist. We're all artists. We all are. In our own little way, we're all artists. It might be the way you fold your towels. There might be an art to that. Um, but you got it. You know what I mean? You got that talent in you. Um, I did not know I could paint. And I did not know how much I loved dots. I did not know um, how much I loved golden glitter. Honestly, I didn't. Um, but every painting that I've painted has gold in it, pretty much. And if it doesn't, it's, it's like, get me the gold. I am starting a new rock right now <laughs> with gold, more gold than normal. <laughs> uh, it's true, man. I, I need my gold fix on every single one. I try and hide it in there. So yeah, I am doing the same thing I do with most of my leaves, which is uh, doing a variation of different shades of green. I did light green on the inside around the vein of the leaf, and then I'm doing a bright green, which is a little bit darker, uh, around the rest. 
That's it. Just two shades of green. I've got my magenta, my orange, and my saffron in all three flowers. Sorry, I keep moving it. My ring light is annoying because my I have like a little plastic sheet down so I don't get paint on my desk. Um, trying to keep my desk as clean as possible. But uh, that ring light is so shiny on there and it's a bit annoying. So I'm sorry for that. Um, but yeah, everything is done with a toothpick when I'm filling it in in the little areas because it's just a lot easier. But other than that, use whatever you're comfortable with. Um, I do use nail dotting tools. I, I just look up dotting tools and I'm sure they'll come up in like a package of a couple of different sizes. And, and uh, yeah, I use them forever. I, I wipe it off. I have a towel on my lap that is covered in paint. It's my paint towel. And I literally wipe the paint off the tips of them and put them in a put them in a drawer when I'm done. I don't ever soak them. Don't ever soak them in like acetone or anything like that because they the tips will come right off. The plastic eats away. So literally just wash them off with soap and water. It works. And if the tips fall out because they're used so many times like mine, I literally glue them back in using crazy glue. So easy peasy. <laughs> Now I'm using Color Shift, which I don't normally use. Um, it's Folk Art Color Shift, and it is Blue Flash. I promise all of this will be in the description. And I just did some bigger dots down the body of the dragonfly to make it easy for me and for you. But they're super nice. It kind of shifts from a purple to a blue. Um, super nice. And I got to let those big drops dry for a while before I seal it. But now I'm going to choose <laughs> hologram. Um, you guys know if you've been to my channel for any length of time, this is also one of my favorites. It does have bigger sized glitter than the background that we just did already with the dragonfly glaze. Um, so there, it seems strange. There's like, you're like, Rachel, what are you doing? There is far too much glitter going on here. I'm telling you, there's still not enough. I'm still going to be adding. So don't get scared, get prepared. <laughs> there's my new saying, where's my t-shirts? I need to make some t-shirts. So you can see it's a little different. The, the hologram 2796 in the wings has a different look to it than the background. So uh, I'm now doing the dial part where I do like little notches, top, bottom, left, right, and then I keep going in between in the center, in the center, 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 yep, center, that's right, you got it. <laughs> and then I keep going until I have enough notches and I'm happy. Sometimes I get overly notchy. That's usually when I'm hungry though. <laughs> I'm here all week. <laughs> Guys, if I haven't made you smile like one time, even if it's to like make fun of my laugh, please, please tell me. Or even just, even if you don't like it at all, you haven't laughed once, hit that down thumb, people. Because that helps my algorithm as well believe it or not. <laughs> so I'm doing a second coat of the beautiful hologram 2796 and making sure I do the same thing, uh, not too thick. Don't leave any big blobs anywhere because it might be noticeable uh, once we seal it. Glitter can be tricky, um, but worth it if you get to know it long term. <laughs> so it is going to look different though. Once I seal it, it's going to change. Uh, quite a bit. So I'm going to add even more. Look at this. I have resined it. I've let it sit for about eight hours and I just stuck one stone on there that's also teal. Um, these are flat back crystals. Oh, the anticipation. Here's my desk that I don't want to get dirty, guys. See why I put the plastic there? <laughs> this is what my desk looks like right now. But in a year or two, you will see. Oh man, I'm really making you wait for this one. It's because I slowed it down so that you can like appreciate the glossiness once I do bring it into the picture. <laughs> There's a method to my madness. I've told you this before. So here it is. You can see that that glitter in the wings goes nicely with the teal ring and the teal crystal 
pops all those colors together. And then, of course, the flowers. Isn't this beautiful, guys? Come on. Hit the thumbs up. Hit subscribe. Be a part of my rock solid family. I love you guys. Thank you so much for being the best group of people in my entire world. Uh, I don't know what I'd do without you. Thank you for sticking by me, even though it's been quiet and I haven't been able to keep posting as much as what I want to. Keep painting, guys. I will be back very soon.